Welcome back to the channel and in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can create this interactive AR VFX in After Effects. And if you want to follow along, you can download the assets by going to this Instagram post and comment link and I'll send you the files directly to your DMs. You can find the Instagram post link in the description down below. Also follow me on Instagram. Let's get started. All right, here I have the two files. I'm going to drag in the footage inside the new composition like that. And first of all, let me trim the footage. Let's scrub through the timeline. And once you hit this, you can trim this control shift and D to trim that. And we're going to scrub forward. And after I wear the cap, hold down alt and left square bracket to trim this. And I'm going to stitch this together so that you have a seamless transition. I'm gonna trim this, hit N on the keyboard, and right click, trim calm to work area. Once you have the footage, you can drag in the cap, just drag and drop this, and add curves adjustment, and maybe add some curves. And what I'm gonna do is add a key light, and I'm going to remove the green screen. So select this dropper, eyedropper, and we're gonna pick the green somewhere here. And what I wanna do is solo this layer. And I'm going to change this view from final result to screen matte so that I can see what's going on. And I'm going down inside screen matte and I'm going to increase the black to around 50 and decrease the white to about 75 or so. Maybe I'm gonna increase the black to somewhere around 65 or so. And if I play it, you can see some of this, this part is not being keyed out. I can lower the white and yeah, I think I got this. Okay, I'm going to soft, soften the edges a little bit, maybe three pixel. And if I set this to final result, you can see some greens. So I'm going to change the screen shrink to a negative three or maybe even more, maybe five, negative five. So it removes those greens. All right, that's very nice. And I'm going to draw a rectangle around the cap. Make sure you cover the entire cap. All right, once you have this, I'm gonna change the color of the layer to red. All right, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna match the hand gesture with the timing of the cap rotation. All right, let's select the cap layer, right click time and enable time remapping. What I'm gonna do here is I'm going to the last frame here and I'm gonna set a keyframe and delete the last keyframe and I'm going to extend this. I'm going to turn off the cap layer for now. Scrub the timeline and find the timestamp where I am just pressing the button here and I'm going to select this first keyframe and move it at this point and I'm going to shift the last keyframe somewhere here. I'm going to select these keyframes, right click, keyframe assistant, easy ease, and I'm going to the graph and I'm going to tweak the graph like this so that we have a smoother playback. The main focus of this tutorial is to show you how to animate the cap and if you want to learn how to make this swipe animation, I've already made a tutorial on that. I will link it somewhere above and you can go and check it out. All right, let's go back to the tutorial. So here you can scale it down to 50%. And what I'm gonna do is I can position it somewhere around, somewhere around here. And I'm gonna work on the animation now, okay? I'm gonna hit P, Shift and R because we need a position and rotation animation for this. So let's find the timing. All right, you can just hit U and go to the keyframe of the time remapping and I'm gonna start the, the animation from here. Hit P, Shift and R. 
I'm gonna set a keyframe for the position and Z rotation. And I'm gonna set a position and Z rotation again here. And right somewhere at the middle of these two keyframes, and I'm going to move the position towards the camera, towards the camera like this, and rotate it something like this. And I'm gonna move this up. You wanna make sure the cap is just on top of this, the head, because it's in 3D space and this is not a 3D element, this is just a footage. So in order to have the illusion that the cap is going towards the subject and it's flying and you know, it's flying across the head, you just have to make sure that the head and the cap are both are on, both have some space between them, okay? So I'm gonna adjust the position somewhere like that and I'm gonna scale it way down here. So at the last keyframe and I'm going to adjust the, the position like that. If you lower the opacity, you can see it better. So this is the final stage and I am going to make it somewhere here and after that, it flies out like that, okay? All right, once you're happy with the animation of the cap, you can just set back the opacity to 100, hit U, and what I'm gonna do is select this rotation and position keyframes, and I'm going to make this an easy ease, and go to the graph, and I'm gonna tweak the graph so that we have a smooth animation. So I'm gonna change the graph to something like this and something like that, okay? Right now the cap is just on top of the subject. So what we're gonna do is right before this, the cap crosses this subject, we're gonna duplicate the, the footage, Control D, and we're gonna trim this here and move this on top of the cap layer and I'm gonna rename this footage roto we're gonna rotoscope this so that's very easy make sure you're at the full resolution select the roto brush tool double click on the footage and we're gonna paint the subject we just need the head area so we don't need all of the subject so I'm gonna just paint it I've covered enough of this rotoscoping tutorials, so it's nothing very complex. It's very straightforward, simple, straightforward. So I'm gonna select this. All right, I just need this area. And once you are happy with this selection, oops, I have to make sure I was at the beginning of this. All right, that's not, not an issue. Look at my eye, that's very, <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna check this motion blur and I'm gonna hit space bar and analyze the tracking. Once you're done, just hit the freeze button. Just wait for a while. All right, once you're done with that, you can close this out. And if I come back here, you can see that, that's very cool. After that, the brim, the, the brim of the cap, the brim of the cap is just behind the, the subject. But once you go further, you can see here, the backside of the cap needs to be on top of the subject. So we're gonna do again, the same thing with the cap this time. We're gonna duplicate this, Control D to duplicate. And I'm gonna trim this, hold down Alt and the left square bracket. And I'm gonna move this up and what I am going to do is select the pen tool and I'm gonna select selecting on the cap layer I'm gonna mask this top part so like I said before we're working with a 2d object in a 3d space so we have to fake the illusion that the cap is 3d okay so but remember the cap is not 3d it's just a flat 2d image sequence 
Right, once you're done with the mask, nothing will happen because if you solo this, you have two masks if you hit M. So the other mask, which is the, the outer one. So what we're going to do is we're going to invert that and maybe we're going to draw some mask here. Mask three, I'm going to subtract this and I'm going to mask this and I'm going to subtract this. That's very simple. And if you can unsolo this and if you play it back, you can see that it's going on top of the subject. So if you turn on the motion blur for the cap and the other one as well, you have to match the color. So if you look at the if you look at the cap closer, you can see it's very very bright. So what I'm gonna do is duplicate this cap layer, Control D, and what I'm gonna do is add a fill, and I'm gonna fill this to black and hit T and lower the opacity to maybe around 25. All right, that's much better. So if you also pay a closer attention somewhere around here, so the motion blur is going on here and you have a very clean cap here, which is not realistic at all. So I'm gonna remove that. I'm gonna trim this cap layer to the time where you have a motion blur here. So select all these footage and the cap layers and I'm going to trim this and I'm going to extend the footage of the subject with the cap on it and I'm going to stitch it together like that. So a little bit adjustment there. So if you see, you have that more realistic feeling. So if you zoom out and look at that, you have a much more realistic one. If you want to learn the swipe animation, you can watch this video and I'll see you in that video. Thanks a lot for watching. This is Motion Designer and I will see you in my next video. Take care.